What's up guys, welcome back to TB Electric YouTube channel where we do how to's. Today we're putting a Soshin motor in our triple X. I know you've seen us try to do this in the past with our 79 bike motor and it didn't really work out, but now we have the Suron 13 kilowatt Soshin motor. We're gonna show you how to switch the plug so you have the right one with the Tori X harness. Make sure you like and subscribe. Let's get into it. If you guys want to see the review of the motor actually on the bike, go to our Tolaria Boys channel and we got a full video there. And if it's not out, it will be out soon. So here's our motor. It came with this plug on it. I already wired this one on. This is what you have to do to make it fit the X. So we bought this kit on Amazon. It comes with all the plugs that fit your Tolaria X. Okay, after you get this cut off, we left it about this long in case we want to reuse it, but you probably won't be reusing it. Now we have this. We had to strip back the plastic coating enough so we can get these wires exposed. And we're gonna just gonna pretend that these wires are these to show you how to do it. So, you're gonna get your pins that were included with your connector. You're gonna strip your wires back about that far. You're gonna get your new connector, put your wire on there so that your wire is inside this flat part and then your insulation is sitting on that part still. You can see that. Then you're gonna to wanna to get your crimpers. We got these on Amazon as well, link in the description. You don't technically need these, you can just use pliers, but these work really good. You're gonna get this on there. This is gonna be the 22 to 24 gauge. So line that up there. Crimp it, boom. Now that first part is crimped, we're gonna crimp the second part. Boom, perfect crimp. So you're gonna do that to all seven of your wires on your encoder there. And then after you get that done, you get your plug here. Use some sort of pin, get this blue part out. And you're gonna shove all your new wires through these eight holes, so there'll only be seven wires. Hey guys, it's me from the future. We've been running this a little bit. We ended up switching our encoder for a hall sensor version, which is working way better with the X9000. There's actually a tune for it. So if you get this motor, you have an X9000, we recommend getting the hall sensor version. Or if you have a different controller, probably just get the hall sensor version. So you guys already saw us wire the encoder, but it's pretty much the same, just there's one wire missing. The hall sensor only has six. So we'll flash this picture up on screen. That's where you're gonna put each color on your connector. Then you should be all good to go, wired into your X. We're gonna show the correct wiring up on screen now so you get each one in the right spot, because it does matter. And once you know that, you're gonna start sticking your seven wires into this blue piece, which is just an insulator so water doesn't get in. And once you do that, then you're gonna one by one start sticking your pins in the connector. Make sure you do it the right way. So basically, you can see that there's a little ridge right here. It's taller. That goes on the top. Just like that. And you gotta use some sort of pliers or something to get that pushed in without cutting it. Make sure not to cut your wire. And now that one's in all the way. You can see it on this side. And you're just gonna put all seven of your wires in there. And because you already put all seven of your wires through the blue piece, then once the wires are in there, you'll slide your blue piece in and that'll make the watertight seal. And then it'll look just like this, ready to go. Okay, now that we've got our motor all ready to go, let's get our battery unplugged and then we'll start messing with all these wires in here. Okay guys, the best way we figured out to take the battery in and out and, and unplug it and get these screws loose is to put your bike like this, kickstand down, so the swing arm can fold all the way. And then it's super easy to get in here, unhook your quick releases, or we have screws on ours. Then I'm sure you probably already have a 72 volt battery if you're doing a motor. So then you're just gonna unplug this connector here and then your battery will be safe. Now that that's unplugged, we're gonna get the shock put back on, just loose so that we can get it off the stand so we can get our motor out. Okay, one thing to note, after you unplug your battery, there's still power in your controller. Turn your bike on. See there's still power? Now the power's gone, so now we're actually safe. All right, next steps. We're taking off the fender, taking off the horn cover, taking off the skid plate, then we're gonna take off the controller. We got our fender off, horn cover off, skid plate off, controller halfway off. We are actually gonna be switching our nuclear controller to Alex's X9000 controller. 
just for this video to get full potential out of this battery and motor because this controller only does 500 phase amps. We are going to be putting this back on after because I really like this controller and we don't need that much power on this bike. That's plenty. So what we're going to do is take off our two power wires under here, and our three motor wires under here, and then unplug the rest of these wires. Okay, our controller is all the way off. Next step, unhook our frame support here and here. And then you guys are going to have to do some custom grinding to get it to look like this. So that's what you have to do to get the other motor to fit. Okay, this piece is off. Okay, next step is we're going to actually remove the motor. So there's four screws, two on each side. We're going to loosen those, take the belt off, and unscrew those the rest of the way and the motor will just come out. Make sure you clip these zip ties that are in the way. Make sure your this is already unplugged from the motor. Then you should be good to come out. Okay, all four bolts are loose. Now we need a 10 wrench and then loosen these right here. That's your motor tension screw. So loosen that and then your motor will be able to move back. And your belt will come right off. Okay, the motor is out. We got the new one here. The problem with this now is these spacings are not the same. So this motor uses these spacers to space it out to fit the frame. But this motor, this spacer is too wide to fit. You need about half this wide. So what we do is we get these spacers. They're not included. You have to find these yourself. We're going to put them right there and find the right width. The other big problem is this is the spacer for the bottom. It's also your chain tensioner or your belt tensioner. So what we're going to do is grind this probably right here and then grind it in half. And then it'll sit right there and still work, just be not as strong, but it should still work. So what we're going to do, put this motor in without spacers, tighten down this left side, and then leave these right side bolts loose to then figure out how wide we need these spacers to be. So we're going to go to that point. All right, the motor's in halfway. The other side has both screws in all the way tight. This side has no screws. Now we got this gap here. We're just gonna use washers to fill in the top. There's the gap. We're gonna use washers to fill in that top and put the screw in. Then the bottom, you can see that gap there. So this does not fit anymore. So we're gonna have to grind this down so we can still get our belt tension proper. Also, we are crazy close right here to this rear drive shaft sprocket. So I think we're also gonna put a shim on this to move it that way, a little bit away from the motor. Okay, we got our top washers in. We use three thick ones and then two super thin ones there. And the bolt squeezed it ever so slightly all the way tight. Now let's grind that bottom one down with our Dremel. All right, you guys, we got it down. You can see we ground it almost in half. What we used is a Dremel with this bit and then we use this bit to finish it off and make it pretty smooth and flat. And it fits in there pretty dang good, it's slightly loose. That bolt will just clamp it tight and it should be perfect. Okay, that spacer's in. You can see it there. Fits perfect. And the bolts still go in all the way, the motor threads are long enough. Should be pretty good to go. We're gonna loosen all four bolts now and get our belt tension correct. Then we'll tighten them all down, the motor will be in. Okay guys, the motor's in. That really wasn't too bad. Just the washers up here, grind that spacer down, and it's, it's in, it's good to go. Our belt tension's good. Now it's time for this. We've already done this, but we'll show you how to do it. So put all your wires through here. Get it in its spot. And I'm just gonna put these bottom bolts in to show you. Now, that's where that goes, see? See that? If this piece was whole, it would not be able to go up all the way. So you need to grind this down to make this piece fit. So what we did was we got our motor in first, we put this piece here, it didn't go on all the way, but then we just marked with a marker where we wanted to cut it. We went, ground some down, came back, still didn't fit, went, ground some down all the way till now it does fit. And it's perfect, nothing's touching. We can get our top bolts in. That wire is still tight right there. We'll move it out of the way. Now we're good to go. Let's get our controller put on, and you're gonna have an upgraded motor in your Tularia X. Okay, we got our three phase wires on the new X9000 controller. If you guys wanna know how to install this controller, we'll link a video down below. 
It also shows you how to cut your skid plate for the X9. And this bike is gonna be a ripper. It's gonna go so fast. It's gonna be faster than my Sting R yeah. with 24 kilowatts. This thing's 25 kilowatts. Should we do top speed run? Top, Tulare at triple X, top speed run? I think we could take the record easy. I could go out there and take the record. What is the record? All right, you guys, we got the motor in, we got the controller in, we're getting all put back together. We're not putting the skid plate on today because we're gonna be moving back to the nuclear soon. But this thing is going to be sweet. We just gotta get the battery plugged back in, hook the screen up. We'll see if it works. I hope so. Yeah, that's gonna wrap up our how-to video. If you wanna see how the motor performs, go to Tellaria Boys, link in the description. We have a full video riding the bike. It is so fun. We're not gonna show you how to calibrate the motor or anything since you probably already know how to, since you probably already know how because you've done this on your stock motor. But that's going to wrap it up. Make sure and subscribe. If you need any parts, go to TB Electric Moto. Link in the description. There's also a link in the description for this motor. Thanks for watching.